sprinkle it with dew. Top for it in chocolate and a miracle or two. It's the candy man. The candy man can. And we're back with Joe Harburg. Boy, what a tough gig you have. <laughs> I get to travel the world and search for the most delicious chocolate. That is fantastic. How can you and I be friends? We already are. Awesome. You know what else is funny? In the last two shows that I've done, they, they put me with the food. I don't know what they're trying to say, but I am all about chocolate and the marshmallows we just had are fantastic. Tell me what we're making here. These look and smell awesome. Well, this is the only thing I know how to make. I'm really not a chocolate maker at all. You're just I'm, an expert. I am a chocolate eater. Right. But Me if, too. In, in, in an absolute pinch, this is what the only thing I know how to make, and it's so simple, anyone can make it. I mean, it really is easy. Let's do it. Uh, I think there's four, five components to the whole thing. Okay. First thing you do is take a stick of butter, you melt it, and you pour it in there. Okay. Kind of evenly, kind of make it even around in there That's so it all sticks to the bottom of the pan. Easy enough. Okay. Then you take your, gra your graham cracker crumbs, and you evenly pour that so you soak up the butter. Okay. And you're gonna evenly mess it around in there. Really, really simple. While you're doing that, you preheat the oven to 325 if you're in, uh, 350 in a regular pan, 325 if you're in a glass pan. Okay. okay. You've evenly put that in there. Okay, that's glass number two. Second, th third thing you do, if you wanna go low fat, you go with low fat sweetened condensed milk. Why are we, but we don't do that on this. That? Well, yeah. you know, some people it's like to do that. Of time. So you pop one of these little cans right here, which is great, and you evenly pour that around. Oh my gosh. Yep, that's just really easy to do and now you're a chocolate maker like I am. <laughs> Perfect. We're, we're professionals now. I'm still trying to figure out how to get on a plane and travel with you to do what you do, <laughs> tasting this chocolate all around the world. All right, that's pretty simple. All right, step number whatever, four, four, is evenly spread those around, kind of pour those on top. Are these now, are these dark chocolate, milk chocolate, or does it matter? Can you just pick what you want as your preference? Semi-sweet morsels from Nestle. Toll House, this is easy. Go. Okay. Now, you can use any other chips you want to use. This is butterscotch. Oh. You can do butterscotch, peanut butter, white chocolate. You can do mint. Doesn't really matter. I use butterscotch today because it was in the in the cabinet. Same process. Right. Same right. process. Just put it on yeah. top of it. I and love then, it. And then what I usually do is take the take the glass, mash it down. It's really important. Make sure they're even. Not really. Doesn't really matter what it looks like in the end. And that's it. That's the entire thing. You throw it in the oven. I was going to say, we got to cook it, right? Yep, cook it in the <laughs> oven for 22 to 25 minutes. When it's brown like this, it comes out looking like that pan right there. Um, wow. If, if you usually cook it a little longer, I probably didn't cook it quite enough today. I'll give that one a try. Okay. Oh my gosh, and they're so... <laughs> These are still warm, so they're kind of wow. falling apart. But they're... <laughs> I'm going to make a mess. I don't care. It's the greatest. Oh my... No. Now, this you is delicious. That? I can. I made we these just, on my first date with my wife. I brought them to her house and hooked her. So it's great. It works. It works uh, great. Now, Valentine's Day. Can you do this? I mean, obviously, ice cream would go great with this. Troy, anything a little more goes chocolate great with syrup this. on top. <laughs> um, I haven't found anything that doesn't go great with chocolate, really. But this is special. This will go with anything. And if you have butterscotch, it goes with some things better. And if you have white chocolate, there's other things. It's great. Now yeah. that I've got a mouthful of them, uh, are you taking any trips coming up? Are you going to be doing any chocolate searching anytime soon? Well, I, as I said, I got back from London uh, from the International Awards in November, and um, there are some food shows that I'm going to hit, and uh, hopefully a television show one day where I can run around and eat chocolate. I'm What's curious, you how do you become a judge for the World Chocolate Contest? I have absolutely no idea. Okay. Um, I, I mean, it was, it was, so, it was, it was, <laughs> it, they, they called me on the phone. They said, we've been reading I'm, uh, at EMC Joe right. on Facebook and Twitter, and I've got uh, over 100,000 followers between the two of them, and uh, they must have found me, and they said, hey, you want to come over and judge? And I never pass up a chance to eat chocolate anywhere, so You need I a am. personal assistant? Uh, yeah, come I'm on I'm always me. trying to find other gigs. <laughs> <laughs> the more the merrier, especially when it comes to chocolate. Joe, right. thank you so much. We Absolutely. appreciate it. Absolutely, These are Thanks. fantastic. I'm going to steal me another little piece here. 